You're listening to the Caramel Apples Podcast, an apple snack that dials up thoughtful, heartwarming nostalgia of all things great and retro in the golden era of pop culture and beyond with your host Kennedy Rizzo and Cooper Lee. <laughs> Kennard. Hello, Coop. <laughs> you know, I was thinking uh, maybe today we could have a, a nice little conversation in ode to our rotten little road apples. Oh, yes. The conversation is always endless with the, the it bad is, things. <laughs> right. They're always doing something absolutely out of control. Uh, do you have anything immediately to share? <laughs> Always. <laughs> well, absolutely. Um, the latest thing that uh, one of our kitties has been doing is just putting on massive weight. And uh, we're <laughs> constantly teasing him that he needs to do some crunches because he'll lay flat on his back in the floor. And we're like, you need to do some crunches and get rid of that. Aww. So, yeah, he's he's putting on his winter fluff or I don't know what's going on, but... <laughs> <laughs> how about with you and your little rotten road apple well she's she was way ahead of yours she put on her winter fat <laughs> oh I'd say back in October <laughs> yeah, she's pretty round we call her she's the pumpkin patch she, her head is a pumpkin it's a small pumpkin with, with yeah. triangles yes. and her body is the huge pumpkin the great pumpkin that Charlie Brown and them always talk about <laughs> <laughs> that's her and she's clingy right now like she's got cabin fever bad oh no yeah in fact i'm she's in the house right now and i'm i'm, I'm tucked away away from her locked away from her because she would be in here bothering but uh yes you have to find your moments away i know yeah i was folding some laundry a little bit ago and she loves she's been stalking me so she jumped up on the couch and she got her claws stuck in there Ugh. And then she got stuck. You know that claw they have in kind of like their forearm? Yeah. Yeah, so... Oh, she scratched at the door right now. Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> she got that claw stuck in the couch cushion, and she got twisted around. Oh, no! So I had to pick her up and everything, and she was stuck. Like, her little, her little wrist was twisted, and finally she jumped down. It ripped out. No... Yes, yeah, so I don't know. I mean, the cats get in fight and stuff all the time, so I don't. I, I mean, they're pretty, pretty resilient. So I'm gonna keep yeah. an eye on her because I don't know how she did that. She got all tangled up. And... Oh, that's not good. And she looked at me like, "Uh oh." I was like, "I'm so sorry." <laughs> oh, poor baby. <laughs> but you know, there she goes. She's sitting there trying to stalk me and pounce on me while it was folding laundry. So I mean, hey. <laughs> <laughs> Lesson learned, right? We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> you know, but we have tons of stories like this. I'm sure you cat parents or even pet parents out there, you know, I mean, they're your world. And you can you have a million trillion stories about their little cute annex and stuff. Um, yes. Never a dull moment. <laughs> there isn't. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, Cube and myself, you know, like we we're new to all this, but we yeah. always like cats you know and there was a lot of things in retro pop culture that we were just drawn to because like i don't know like something about animals and yeah and you know their personalities that they portrayed in pop culture you know it really always was appealing yeah you know and i don't know maybe to some of our um, earlier recollections of introductions to kitty cats you know because i do think there's a large population out there who really do love their cats good um, people good people i know i know right <laughs> um one of our mama's favorite movies when we were growing up was aristocats oh aristocats remember that one that one was a cute one it was a disney film 
Um, and I'm sure it probably, well, I don't know if that was really before, like, they came out with plush toys to go along with everything. Because I think it came out in, like, 1970 or something. You know, that was oh, before okay. we were even on the planet. That's true. Yes, um, yes. But mom, she had loved it. So when we did come onto the planet, we were introduced to it. Um, <laughs> and, uh, so I don't know if they ever had, like, you know, the merchandise line. But it was a very cute movie. And, mm-hmm. I mean, mm-hmm. that's something you could easily watch today. Very benign, very just innocent entertainment yeah. that would certainly draw you into kitty cats. They're so cute. So, yeah, it's funny you mention that because I still, I, I have the DVD. And I know, I'll pop that thing <laughs> in for her rottenness, her yes. highness. <laughs> and... She's she's cute and creepy at the same time. She will actually watch that, but it's it's really cute. But um, <laughs> I think her little thought balloon over her head. She requests it at times. It's really cute. Whatever. Oh yeah, that's what you're thinking. But what she's really saying is they better not be coming into my home. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's funny. It's funny you mentioned that because you're doing watching a video on social media or YouTube. You know, she yeah. hears cats. Oh, like, oh, she what? Yeah betrayal don't you dare don't you even think it (laughs) but like with the aristocats i mean like we were young watching it and you could it was neat to see the relationship between the cats the kittens and their humans yes and that helped you know that they had these personalities that were just warm and you just you wanted you wanted to experience that or you just enjoyed it while you watched it because it was like there's that warmth there that connection yeah, and and I haven't seen it in a long time, so I'll have to borrow your copy. Sure. Um, <laughs> but those little stinkers, like, it was cute because what I can remember, like, they gave them all little personalities, too. Like, they weren't just little furry lumps, you know? They they had their little personalities. I remember the little girl. Yep, yep. She was sassy, of course. <laughs> yes, her name was Marie. Oh. <laughs> oh goodness, my little bad kitty just came over. Okay, scoot along. Oh, which one? Um, it's it's my girl. Go away. Oh, 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 ow, 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 ow. I don't need your attention. <laughs> Go away. Okay. So this is a highly appropriate topic this week because obviously <laughs> Yes. <laughs> they're around. <laughs> they invade your space at any time. <laughs> so another but- one, um, that uh, we could just briefly mention is Mad Cat because he was on another <laughs> level. He was just something else, was he? Demented. <laughs> and we already talked about him a little bit this this season um, in our Inspector Gadget episode. Yes, yes. <laughs> but he was just the quintessential bad kitty. <laughs> like he, he wanted to be near his human, but at the same time, you know, he wanted the human to respect him. You need yeah. to do things my way. I'm a mad cat. Well, in all fairness, calling Dr. Claw human. <laughs> well, well, there's that too, right? There are two peas in a pod. They were both rotten. Yes, yeah, you say that very tongue in cheek. Yeah. So yeah, definitely archivers. If you if you, you know, wanna go and hear more about Mad Cat, check out our episode. Um, of Inspector Gadget right here on the Caramel Apples podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Wowzers. <laughs> <laughs> so do you remember um, there was when we were younger, we always had things in twos because we were so close in age. Um, people a lot of times thought we were twins. Mm-hmm. Um, our mom she would dress us like twins. <laughs> and she, <laughs> and uh, so like a lot of our toys and everything, we had twos of things. And I remember um, when we were very, very young. And tell me if you remember this. Hello Kitty. <laughs> um, she actually came about in the mid 70s, but we weren't introduced to her until, um, you know, we got to become of age and the rainbow shop was around. I know we briefly talked about the rainbow shop before. Um, they always had these cute little novelty items, pens, pads, little stamps, you know, the rubber pads, stamp. Um, that place was the greatest. It was. It was so awesome. It felt like you were shopping. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and they had a lot of stuff. Hello Kitty. Yes. 
And mom, I remember she got us. Do you remember those little whistles she got us? that had Hello Kitty. One was blue and one was pink. I do. And they had little Hello Kitties on the side. Yeah. She was so cute. Hello Kitty is adorable. She's just precious. I think I had my whistle taken away from me at school. <laughs> oh, I think I remember that. I was hot, too. <laughs> <laughs> did you ever get it back? I did, but they were trying to teach me a lesson. I was not very happy. Not cool. No, this caramel apple was dripping mad. <laughs> <laughs> Not funny. Not funny. No, not cool. <laughs> but you know what? I think she had like a real revival, kind of like into the later 90s even. Oh, okay. Um, because I know there was a lot of plush toys around. And if I'm not mistaken, I actually have a little Hello Kitty um, <laughs> who is in a little leopard outfit. She's a little plush doll. She's in a little leopard outfit. And she's got a little hood, a little uh, leopard hood. That you can Aww. take off and it reveals her ears. <laughs> She's so cute. Yes, still have toys. Isn't that awful? <laughs> no, and we we do have some of our retro toys. Uh, yes. Yeah. No, that won't. We won't be laughing long. You know, you actually turn those buddies in. They keep you so vent for them. <laughs> what are you saying? No, those are gonna stay forever. They'll have to get willed to our kitties, I guess, because we don't have the children. <laughs> but we'll will them to our cats. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a plan. <laughs> so it's nice with like Hello Kitty. You know, it's good memories that you brought up about her. And that's cute that you still have the toy. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, she is absolutely adorable. So Yes. Yes, yeah, yeah. she is sweet. <laughs> There's just some things you can't part with. But yeah, they had like, um, you know, notepads. They had a big, big section. Talk about the Rainbow Shop again. They had a huge, huge section devoted to hello kitty because she was she was major yeah yeah and she's still a phenomenon over like in in um japan and yes uh, i mean that just all over there asia those countries over there they like cats are supreme yes cats cats do run things over there they do and they're um, spoiled oh, no. <laughs> they're like we are your highness so you can uh you can give us the royal treatment at all costs. It's fine. Yes, we humans are their staff. <laughs> <laughs> and speaking of staff, um, our aunt, you know, she was always a cat mom. And she loved this next entry, or our last entry for this week. Um, yeah. That's Garfield. <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, um, <laughs> and, and that's just it. You know you have a real affinity and a love for something if you are allergic to it and you still want them in your circle. So, I mean, she's allergic to cats and yet she still has cats. Right? So... <laughs> <laughs> they fight her. <laughs> yes, absolutely. So, with Garfield, um, I think he came around on the scene in 78, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, late 70s. Cool, cool. Yeah, and um, that's probably when her love uh, came about for Garfield. But, like, um, they had a lot of stuff novelty for him. Because um, he was huge on lasagna, right? <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, um, I, the, I believe the creator was Jim Davis, if I'm not mistaken. Yep. Mm -hmm. And um, I think he was born and raised in Indiana. And he even went to college and everything over there. And it's like, I wonder if... This Garfield is based off of a pet that he had. <laughs> That'd be interesting. Yes. And is it based on a love of uh, lasagna that he himself has? You know, it's like, what all was put into Garfield that comes from the creator, Jim Davis? It would be interesting. It really would. And go Midwest, you know, being hailing from Indiana and stuff. I know, right? Yeah. But uh, Garfield was primeval as well. Oh, yeah. Because um, he wasn't very, he was kind of nice, but if he was wanting the attention, he wasn't very nice to his little puppy friend. Um, Odie. Uh, Odie. <laughs> <laughs> and, and his little neighbor, his little neighbor buddy. <laughs> was he that like normal? Him. Yes, he hated normal. Was that his neighbor or his, I, for some reason, I always thought he was related to him. Well, he might have been his little nephew. He, got, he hated him. He did hate him. Normal was, I mean, because we'll even say that, that's someone's normal. <laughs> <laughs> Because <laughs> you know the, the feeling that was connected between Garfield and Normal. So. 
Yeah, he he just that that was a bad day for Garfield when Normal was around. <laughs> Normal, that is terrible. Ugly name, isn't it? It really is. And then his day was semi bad when Odie's around, but he lived with Odie, so he just had to he had to <laughs> suck that to one up. That. <laughs> <laughs> but um, like I remember, remember they had those comic books. Like I know they had the Carmix and <laughs> Carmix. What is that? <laughs> Carmex caramel apple with Carmex. <laughs> nice play there. Nice, yes. <laughs> We're not trying. <laughs> <laughs> but remember they had those thick comic, those collectible comic books that was like volumes of the comics that would come in the paper? Yes. I'm yes. pretty sure those are collectibles now, and I'm pretty sure our aunt had several of those, if not all of those. She did. Yeah. She did. She had them. She had those books. Yeah, so she's probably sitting on a gold mine. Because <laughs> she's a serious fan of Garfield. So She is. Shameless. Yeah. We have to ask her about that. <laughs> Don't do that. Project. She, yeah, absolutely right. <laughs> <laughs> Well, this was fun this week talking about some rotten road hedge apples. They're so bad. <laughs> they are so bad. There's never a lack of content when it comes to kitties. I don't know. I know. But there's actually many, many more retro entries we want to talk about in reference to cats. Yes. So stay tuned. Uh, we'll come back next week. We'll have some more famous retro kitties to, to talk about. So Yeah. yeah. Yes, but we'll definitely see if this jogs your memory. So join us next week and we'll see you then. (laughs) Bye for now. (laughs) And that's it for this week's Apple Snack. But as you know, there's always more where that came from. So stay tuned. Subscribe, review, and spread the word. See you next time in the Retro Orchard. And thanks so much for listening. (laughs) 